Yo, how's it going guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video guys, we are going to be reviewing Manga. Yes, the new photo birthday card. I think this card costs around 200,000 coins. I've played two matches quickly with him, so I'm just going to do the review, uh, the review intro now because I forgot to at the start. But the card itself, as you can see, 88 rated, 80 pace, 50 shooting, 78 passing, 76 dribbling, 86 defending and 90 physical. He's 6 foot 2, medium high work rate. Left footed, 3 star skill moves and the 5 star weak foot which has been upgraded. I was hoping that they would upgrade the weak foot because I thought if they do the skill moves, 5 star skill moves is not really useful for a centre back. You just don't really do them so 5 star weak foot is very nice on the cards. He's got 75 acceleration, 84 sprint speed. His passing is really nice to be honest, 85 short pass, 82 long passes, it's good enough and the curve isn't really great but 70 vision, does that really show true in game? Does he have better vision in game? You'll find out. 87 agility, 86 balance for a centre back. Just compare that with Rafael Varane. Look at the difference, it's insane. 91 reaction, 75 ball control, 70 dribbling, and 90 composure. Again, just the difference between him and Varane is insane. 83 inceptions, 88 heading accuracy, 86 defensive awareness, 88 stand tackle, and 88 slide tackle. We did put a shadow on him to boost the defending and the pace, because I think the pace does need a boost. The 75 acceleration. He's got 87 jumping, 81 stamina, 93 strength, and 93 aggression. As for the traits, he has the dives into tackles and the power header traits. So, two decent traits for a centre back to have. The card itself looks good, but I don't think a lot of people are too impressed with the card. What I did is I went into some Division Rivals matches for live gameplay. Yes, got live gameplay for tonight, guys. I thought I'd try and get this review up for you guys. Uh, nice and quick, I think tomorrow we maybe get a Marco Royce, so maybe I'll do the same again for him, but he will be an expensive SBC. We have him in this one, and the foot birthday SBC so far have been absolutely phenomenal. Is Mangala one that you should be completing? Let's not waste any more time, let's get into the highlights that I did manage to get with this card in Division Rivals. Hopefully you guys enjoy it, if you do, smash like down below and subscribe for a lot more FIFA 21 content. Let's get into it. Mangala, decent. Well played, good, good, great physical against Messi. Mangala, Messi's away. His pace feel like, ball's gone through him there. It feels very good at doing the jockeying, very good jockeying. Five star weak foot is a great thing about this Mangala card because you don't have to worry about positioning your centre backs. Normally, centre backs have low weak foot, so that nice pass is only possible because of the five star weak foot off the bar, man. Mangal is quick to turn there. Means that he wasn't able to pull the passing because we were able to move Mangala quickly. That's nice. Great play, Vidal. Mangala. Yes, good play. Mangala. He's got the physical. He really is strong. In again. I wasn't even doing anything. I was scratching my face. And he's done it for me. Mangala, that's a great tackle. His tackling has been solid so far. How's the pace? Up against Neymar. Strength, that's brilliant from Mangala. Nice. Good read, good read. Mangala, nice. Again, nice. His tackling is top notch. Top notch, almost feels like an icon. I'm a big fan of his positioning so far. He seems, he's got the low high work rates, I believe. Good positioning there, good awareness. I'm not the best defender, so... Mangala's got to have a mind of his own. He seems to be doing that so far. That's that's Varane though. That's Varane. For this guy, that Varane has just made so many of those blocks. It's just insane. That's why I like Mangala. Compared to Varane, he's so smooth on the ball. What's his long passing like? I mean, it's a ping. Not the best. <laughs> Mangala, can he win headers? Really go for it. That's Varane there. That is Varane. 
If you're comparing Mangala to Varane, I think Mangala doesn't get himself in the way as much as uh, Varane. Mangala on the ball. I like it. I mean, he does his job as a left footed centre back with five star weak foot. Passing is as good as you can get, you know. Mangala on the run. Oh, the touch. No, 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 no. Mangala, come on. Sticks a leg out when I didn't tell him to. Good pass to Ronaldo. He wins every header. That's it. Oh, Ronaldo, come on. It was a good pass. Pace against Salah. Can we block the pass? Mendy does it for us. Nice pass. With, yeah, that's good. He, he likes to do a lot of the passes with the outside of the foot. It's decent. The jockeying. LTRT. L2R2 is really good with Mangala. Mangala. Being turned for Ran. Nice block. I think that was Mangala. Oh, what a pass. What a pass. Nice passing. Passing solid again. I think for a centre back, for a top tier centre back, you got to have good passing, and he really does have that. Tested his pace there. It was decent. Good enough. And the play. Not the best tackle from me. Gets back into to, gets back into position nicely, and I mean, I think when you're testing out a centre back, when you're reviewing a centre back, you got to make those mistakes to see what he's like. Almost the reaction. All right, so that is it for the two games. We're just going to do two games with this Mangala card today, because as I say, with a centre back, it's kind of tough to actually see how they play. As I would say, for this Mangala, one one out of three tackles. Passes completed, 12 out of 15. I feel like his passing was absolutely fantastic. And I feel like with this card, I think his price is around 200,000 coins, depending on what console you are on. He's a good card. Is he better than Raphael Varane? That is what everyone will want to know. I would say no. I think that Varane is undisputedly, but the undisputed, sorry, the undisputed king centre-back on FIFA 21. He's just insane. And even despite the crazy boost, the agility and balance to this Mangala over a Raphael Varane, it just feels like even Varane on 8 chemistry there was just the one bossing the defence. He was the one making the last ditch AI blocks. And for whatever reason, I think that that is just makes him just crazy. That 8-6 reactions you'd think would maybe play to it. But I don't know, maybe it's the defensive awareness, 89 versus 86. I think Mangalo is really good at the passing. The 5-star weak foot is definitely noticeable in-game. What's noticeable as well is the physicality. 90 physicality on the card, 93 strength. You can really feel that in game. He's six foot two, so he's a bit shorter than Varane. His medium high work rate is the same. So I think as a pairing, as a left footed centre back with five star weak foot, this guy was absolutely uh, brilliant. To be honest, I felt like he was really solid for two hundred thousand coins. Is he worth doing? Depends. If you need him, if you've got Tobido, uh, Toribo, however you pronounce his name, if you've got Varane, if you've got a pairing for Varane, if you've got Bender. If you've got any of these cards, I probably wouldn't do it, but if you're looking for a card to pair with Raphael Varane, I would definitely go for it. If you're thinking of having Mangala next to maybe a Virgil van Dijk, like a slower type of centre-back, that's not the pairing that you are looking for. The pairing that you are looking for is a Mangala and a Raphael Varane, a Mangala and someone with very good pace, because his pace isn't the best. I think his work rate, his tackling, his passing, physicality was really good. You do notice the pace difference between him and Varane. But overall, a good card. Is it a necessity to complete? In my opinion, no, it's a good card. But yeah, I'm not sure whether I would recommend him to everyone. He's not everyone's card that they need in their club right now. But guys, hopefully you did enjoy today's review. Again, just a quick one. So I thought I'd bring this one to you. We don't normally do the 6pm content ones. I thought I'd get this one out quickly to you guys. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, smash like down below. Subscribe for a lot more FIFA 21 content. I'll see you all in the next one.